Earlier this year, the Richmond, Virginia City Council put forth a proposed 80 cents per pack cigarette tax increase for the city. This was a direct threat to the jobs of our members working at Philip Morris in Richmond. The leadership of Local 203T immediately went into action to defeat this tax increase and defend their members' jobs. They knew this would be a very tough battle. Beating back a cigarette tax increase anywhere is very difficult. In taking on this fight, Local 203T built a powerful grassroots campaign, and they did everything right. They organized, they educated, they resisted, and they persisted. They organized the membership and educated them on the stakes in this fight. They then educated the rest of the Richmond labor movement and the politicians about the adverse impact the tax, on, the tax would have on good middle-class jobs in Richmond. They resisted by mobilizing their members and community allies to have their presence felt and their voices heard loud and clear at city council meetings where the tax was being debated and voted on. And they persisted by not letting up one bit until the tax was defeated. Local 359T Hopewell, Virginia, also a Phil Morris local, was also engaged in the campaign, as was Local 358 Richmond on behalf of their BCTGM brothers and sisters in tobacco. Despite very difficult odds, Local 203T was successful because of hard work, determination, strong leadership, and quality grassroots organizing at the local level. These are the ingredients for victory in the legislative arena. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I'm Richard Davis, president of Local 203. Um, got voted into uh, office January, and we were at our union meeting February 14th. We got a phone call from a councilwoman notifying us that it was going to be an 80 cent per pack tax. And anybody, I've been in the back of the industry for 28 years, and I knew what that was going to do to our facility. So. Scott and I was sitting there after our first union meeting along with another officer, Romel. Um, and we didn't know what to do for a second, so we called Harry. Said, Harry, what do we need to do? Harry said, well, you need to pull it together. You need to mobilize. So we did. We called the company, and I said, you know, do y'all aware of this? And they said, no, we didn't have any idea. It's happening in 36 hours. They had just imposed a 1.5% food tax. They wanted to strike while the iron was hot. So Scott and myself... Romel, along with another retired gentleman who's still very active in our local, Toby Hawley, um, got with the company, went down and talked to him, said, look, help us out here, meet us down, we need to go down the next day. So Thursday, to the council people's surprise, we all showed up. So they rolled it over to the next month. They thought we were going to quit. We was down there the next month fighting it again. Scott got on the phone and called all the council people. We set up meetings. We even went and talked to the mayor. Um, got us a bunch of t-shirts made, showed up down there in our red t-shirts. We even organized our salary people. We had them down there on the buses with us. And all turned out well. It, uh, one funny thing about it, when we all walked out that afternoon, uh, the salary people was downstairs. They was bumping and bumping hands and hooping and hollering. And I said, how does it feel? They said, what do you mean? I said, how does it feel to be part of a union? They just looked at me. <laughs> so, Funny thing, you know, President Durfee talks about history, and um, I've been in the back of 28 years, like I said, I've seen a lot, and it's good to be able to look back on history, where we've come in order to go where we need to be. Um, I want to thank you, Harry, for always being there for us, uh, President Durfee, thank you very much, and uh, so I'll turn it over, Scott's got a few words, thank you. Good evening, President Turkey, Steve, Kelly. First and foremost, is, um, I'm probably going to repeat some of the stuff Richard just uh, said, but uh, this gentleman behind us, Harry Kaiser, if anybody doesn't know Harry, you're going to know Harry before you leave here on uh, Wednesday. Um, as Richard stated, and I'm going to probably repeat some of what he said, um, we were at our first union meeting. We have three union meetings on uh, the second Wednesday of every month, and we got a phone call. I got a phone call from um, one of the councilwomen that Believe it or not, used to be my ex-sister-in-law 40 years ago, which is a good thing. But uh, she gave us some inside scoop what was going on, and we reacted very quickly. Um, like Richard said, we had le less than 36 hours to react. 
We immediately got on the phone with Harry, and I can't thank Harry enough, you know, behind the scenes and whatnot, through emails, through conversations and everything else. Um, Harry guided me, I guided the group, Richard, Romel, Toby, uh, Mike. It was, it was a group effort. I mean, as Richard said, it was a good feeling to see members of management, like Richard said, how's it feel to be part of a union? Because we took this thing by the horns and we ran with it. We were very successful in defeating this thing. Um, the odds were against us. Um, as Richard said, we had some red t-shirts made up that had big bold letters, no more taxes. Um, we even had members of management. We had members of the merchants throughout the city of Richmond that we contacted and whatnot. They came to the city council meeting and whatnot. Um, we chartered buses that we, uh, we pretty much filled city hall down there. It was overwhelming. It was like a sea of red. You know, I'm a Capitals fan up in D.C. Go Capitals. We won the cup finally. And it looked like a, a, a red of sea, a full of sea up in city council. I mean, it was overwhelming. And uh, it was a great defeat, and we defeated the bill. Um, it was six no's and three yeses. So um, with everybody's help, it was a, a, you know, it's pretty much what this convention stands for, is what we were able to do in February, March, and April with a short period of time to organize and be able to do everything. And I can't thank Richard again, Harry. Richard just coming on board. I've been in this local for 38 years. I'm very proud of it. My, I would like to thank my wife that's sitting out in the back back there. For two months, she put up with me pulling my hair out, trying to organize stuff. She was a proud member of this local for 31 years. So, um, you know, um, with, with, it wasn't a one-person show. It was everybody, and we all got together, and we did the right thing, and we were very successful in doing what we do. So, again, I'd like to thank everybody that played a part in that. And, uh, Thank you all for being here and let's have a good time. Thank you.